Okay, y'all, so we back with another motherfucking video. If y'all want to see how I cook this, just stay tuned. Look at this. I call this that salmon motherfucker. Okay, so first we're going to go in with the olive oil. We're going to coat each side of the salmon after you wash and pat it dry. Rub it in, caress it. You see me caressing it. Y'all got to know how to caress the food. You have to caress the food. Okay. So then we're going to go in with our seasonings. Right here I use lemon and herb obey. And you just put as much as you would like on each side. Once you do that, we're going to take this Cajun style seasoning with a little spice because I love my spicy. Once you do that, you're going to take some lemon, squeeze the lemon on there, and then rub it in. Get it all together. I went in with some garlic and herb by Kinder's. Season that. Then I went in with some thyme. And I also use rosemary. When you use rosemary, just use a little bit because it's so strong. So once you do that, you take the blackened seasoning. It's cayenne and lemon. I do this to get the dark on each side. And then look at this masterpiece. My little bitch, yeah, masterpiece. Okay, for the shrimp, we're going to take olive oil, some red lobster seafood seasoning, sprinkle a little of that on there, some Lowry's garlic salt, Lowry's. And went in with some lemon and herb obey, squeeze some lime. And I also went in with some New Orleans Cajun seafood seasoning. And right here, I have the tomatoes, the jalapenos, the cilantro, and the red onions. This is for the pico de gallo. And you got to make sure you got a hard ass lime. Why it's so fucking hard? I don't know. So mix all that into a bowl. Squeeze, squeeze, squ struggle. Make sure you struggle and mix it all up. Once you have that mixed up, we're going to take a hot skillet, add your butter, spread that around the pan. Then you add the salmon. I forgot to record that part. Add the salmon, your rosemary, and your thyme. Squeeze some more lemon juice, y'all. Know y'all got to have the lemon juice. Once you do that, you're gonna take, you're gonna dip like the butter and spread it on top of the salmon to get her juicy. You got to have her juicy. You want her juicy, okay? So you do that until you want to stop. Once you do that, you place it in the pan. In the pan, I had butter and lemon on the bottom, and I just added lemon and butter on the top also. And I was struggling so hard with this butter. And once you have the butter in there, you're going to squeeze a little bit more lemon juice and you go in with the green stuff, the parsley. You got to have the parsley, okay? Wrap it in aluminum foil. And while I was cooking everything else, I just baked it on like 350. And look how it came out, okay? Asparagus, I had some olive oil and some minced garlic in there. And this is how I plated it. First, the mashed potatoes, the asparagus. And then I struggled putting this shrimp on here. I guess because the... The little stick was so long. I don't know. But as you see, I struggled the whole time until I got it right. Okay. Make sure you struggle. You have to struggle because if you don't struggle, it's not going to be a meal. Okay. It's not a struggle meal, but you got to struggle with the meal. Okay. Okay. So now I'm putting it, just figuring out where I want to be. I'm really like, okay, I was over it. There we go. Okay, so in the pan, we're going to have the butter, the melted butter, add the pico de gallo, and mix that thing together. And then once it's cooked to how you like it, you just top it. You put it on top of your salmon, and I put a little of the butter juice on top of my shrimp to get it juicy. Get it juicy. <laughs> yeah, now look at it. Look at that salmon motherfucker. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Next time, cook it with me.